you struggle with jumping and you don't have guests over daily, then this drill is for you. You can slowly start approaching your dog. If at any time they start to jump up, you're simply gonna take a step backwards and remove yourself from the situation. Do not at any point touch your dog unless their butt is on the floor. While they're sitting, you can tell them good boy, pet them, just do not get all excited and tell them how much you miss them. You're gonna amp them up and make them jump. If they do jump, you're simply gonna say nope or uh-uh, take a step back, stop petting them, wait until they're calm. All four must be on the floor. Once they're calm and you kind of have their attention, you're gonna tell them to sit again. And then you can start petting. Throughout the entirety of the session, what I say to the dog is pretty limited. I'll say his name, good, good sit, uh-uh, or nope. Ideally, the dog should have a pretty solid sit command before doing this. However, I just got Oakley and his sit is not quite there yet. So I am working through, following through when I tell him to sit, make sure he understands that I do mean it. Touching his butt here is probably not the most ideal thing for me to do because it could potentially be reinforcing. When following through with getting a dog to sit, you'll notice that I always keep pressure on the leash and then I'll put pressure on the butt. The pressure on the leash is the most important because if you let that up before they do what you're asking of them, you're essentially telling them that they've done what you've asked. You're going to repeat this process a bunch of times until they start to understand that the only time they're getting pet and that love and affection that they're craving is when their butt is on the floor. So you can see there he went back down pretty quickly. Even though we've only been outside for a few minutes, Oakley is obviously getting pretty hot and he seems to be somewhat uncomfortable, so I'm going to get one more solid sit out of him and then call it a session. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more training tips. If you have any questions, drop them below.